It's a beautiful morning today you know when i woke up it was you know rain was doing just a little drizzle but that's the amazing god that we have right in the blink of an eye the weather can change you know a friend of mine was saying to me yesterday that it's so cold overseas and uh, like she have, I think it was a family member or a friend who put on a pot of water on the fire and boiled it and, you know, then threw it in the atmosphere and before it hit the ground, it was ice. So, I'm glad for the climate that I have here. I'm glad for the climate that I have here. I don't know how long I could survive in a temperature like that. But, you know... In everything, we got to give thanks. In everything, we got to give thanks. Give thanks for the mere fact that you are alive and well today. Give thanks even if you don't have meal for tomorrow. The Bible said, why worry about the morrow, right? The Lord will make a way somehow. You know, I've been through situations where... It seems like my back was against the wall and, you know, God just come through. And, you know, sometimes when God does things like that, you are so amazed. But you know what? That's a God we serve. He promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And so, we need to be grateful. Gratitude is something that we should hold dearly to our hearts we're not living in an easy time you know guys we're not living in an easy time persons are suffering around the world I mean I heard about that earthquake in Turkey and I was like you know somebody told me I didn't hear the news or anything like that somebody said it to me and I was like so many things are happening in this world that some of us have no clue like myself there are things happening in the world that I have no clue but you know we live day by day and because our little corner is quiet or our little corner is untouched at the moment we think that everything is okay but you see now now is the time for us to surrender now is the time for us to give in to god because it's not going to get any easier don't let nobody fool you. Do not let anyone fool you. Nobody. The only time it gets easier is when we are called up. He said at that time there will be no more mourning. There will be no more shedding of tears. So that's the only time it gets easier for now. We just got to pray. We got to live right. We have to ask God. To be the potter. And let us be the clay. So don't fool yourself. Don't tell yourself that you have time. Because time, we don't have. 
and it's appointed unto man to die. So we are all going to die. It's maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But that day is going to come. And you don't want that day to come and your, your soul, your soul is lost. You know, being a Christian don't mean that you're going to get it right at all times. It means that you're going to continually try to get it right. It doesn't mean that you are going to be perfect. It means that you are going to continually try to be perfect. It doesn't mean that you're going to have everything together. It just means that you are continually going to try to keep it together. It's not an easy task to be a Christian. I can testify to that. There are days when I feel like, oh my God, I can't pray. I don't want to fast. I don't want anybody talking to me. There are days when I just want to be alone. And there are times when life situation causes you to just fall on your knees. Because you realize that there is nowhere else to go but to the throne of God. You realize that it is so hard that it must be because the enemy doesn't want you to make it in. And I always say as a Christian, if things are smooth, then something needs to check. Check yourself. Check the spirit that you see you're walking around with. <laughs> Can't be smooth. <laughs> oh Lord, and see her bring a cross. His own cross. He was betrayed by his own disciple. He was denied by his own disciple. So you're going to be hurt. I always see this saying that says, it wasn't a stab in the back that killed you. But it was when you turn around and see who was holding the knife. So you're going to have those moments. You're going to have those moments of doubt. You're going to have those moments of regret. You're going to have those moments when you just have to bow before the throne of God and say, God, here I am. Here I am. Have your way. Your work environment, it's toxic sometimes. There are times when persons are going to, you know, come in your space and make you want to curse. Make you get so angry, so upset. But guess what? The devil, his angels are out and about. And their mission is to derail you from the throne of God. You're at school as a young star. So many, if you ever notice the things that are happening with our children today. So there's going to be a time of test. There's going to be a time of trials. There's going to be that time but let us be prepared let us be ready let us be charged and how can you be charged how can you be prepared prayer fasting the word of god he says that word have i hid in my heart so that I may not sin against thee. Let us be 
ready. Prepare. When you leave out your house in the morning, cover yourself. Because the enemy is just setting up that atmosphere for you to step into and to be a changed person. Not for the better, but for the worse. You want to be able to walk and person says, there goes a child of God. vanity that's what Solomon says all is vanity so it doesn't matter the wealth you have if you are not rich in Christ it's all vanity guys I don't know why this morning but the word of God is saying to me that you need to pull up your socks It is saying to me that I need to pull up my socks. It is saying to me that I need to pull up my socks. I am not a perfect individual. I have lived a life filled with sin. I am a sinner born and conceived shaping in iniquity but the word of God is saying to me this morning pull up your socks so like Paul I want to be new I want to be new. <laughs> and so like David, I want to see creating me a clean heart, oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. So if you have something that is hindering you, let me tell you. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So guys, be encouraged this morning. Be encouraged. Look around you. See what is happening. Be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. Have a peaceful